to see once I made them so um, you can do it twice if you want until you are able to see the marks so I'm trying to make marks once again uh, to be able to see them now I can see a little bit it's hard to see uh, the camera <laughs> at least you can get the idea and then uh, I'm gonna start putting the pieces of vinyl and then once I put the white cardstock this is how it's gonna look if it doesn't fit very well we can adjust it and then um, keep going and continue with the other pieces Now it seems to be a little bit better. So you can cut the pieces of vinyl kind of calculating the size of the flower um, because as you can see this template has the flowers a little bit close one to uh, each other so um, you need to make a specific uh, sizes of vinyl so they won't uh, go across the other the other ones. Also, we have the green leaves um, that I also want to um, place here as part of the colors. Now I'm adding the, the yellow dots uh, for the center of the flowers. Now I'm gluing the piece, the white cardstock, um, and um, because I want to make it kind of fast, faster. <laughs> um, just keep in mind that we want to use as less as possible, just enough to hold the pieces together. Now I'm going to start building the frame part where the picture is going to be. So I'm folding the pieces um, and I'm cutting a piece that is kind of flying or as an excess. And this yellow piece is the one that is going to have the secret message. And then I, I'm, kinda, I'm kind of trying to see where the, uh, will be the best place to be. Uh, here I'm gonna put it in the middle. Kinda this way. And it may may not stand out um, above the pink 
uh, section to fold the card but that's okay because we are gonna use a piece to put on top okay so I have this piece pretty much ready uh, I'm just checking one more time how it's gonna look like so now I put these little pieces um, to kind of separate the frame from the pink section and this is gonna be this way and this is the piece that is gonna cover the frame and then now I'm putting uh, glue on those sections okay. so now this piece is holding um, with the other side of the card so every time I open it the frame is gonna pop up and then I'm, I'm gonna glue the rest of the, the other side of the frame like this just enough to hold it and I need to close it to make sure that it's gonna close perfect and now I have that pop-up effect with the frame Now I'm adding this piece in the middle also, uh, making sure it's covering as much as possible um, the frame part. And you can see that there, there is a section that is, is showing up, but it's, that's okay. You can still don't see what there is about. Now I'm adding the top part. Don't have it. Uh, I glue down because it's fast also. So now this yellow um, section is the one that is going to have the um, brace and enjoy your birthday. And I kind of have to measure um, the bottom because I don't want to add the letters below that. Otherwise, when you pull up that section, the work is not going to show up completely. And these letters are made with vinyl and I'm combining colors blue, uh, sorry, <laughs> red and purple. Um, and I'm putting the one color on top of the other one to kind of have a like a double color effect not for all, all the words but some of them so i'm placing the word birthday right now Now I have the phrase complete. And this technique with the secret message is pretty much the same as uh, um, the envelope flower pop-up card that you probably watch on my previous videos. Um, so I'm just using this um, double-sided tape to hold this piece this case but you can use anything uh, that you can think it will hold the piece I just thought this was the, the easiest way to hold the piece so that way it's not gonna go all the way up because the double sided tip is gonna glue both sides the front and the bottom of the frame and it's not gonna let uh, the yellow piece to go all the way um, up and out of the frame just trying to place it uh, even in both sides sides 
Um, now I'm gonna uh, glue the picture that I have for this case I decided to create an illustration of my friend with her dog um, but you can add any picture that you have and it you will cut it with the option print then cut and that will be the picture So my picture for this case is an illustration that I wanted to draw. Um, but that's totally up to you. Anything that you can think that will be nice to have as a picture will work. And then I'm just gluing that. Um, and my message is gonna be below that frame. Um, so that way it's not gonna be visible until we pull out up that uh, yellow section so now I'm gonna uh, use this ribbon to um, create a base that is gonna let me pull out pull up the um, message uh, so I'm using balloons your balloons as a decoration and with the ribbon I cut it by half um, so it was um, more even to according to the size the size of the balloon The template has a number of balloons, but at the end you can use as many as you want. So I'm doing this piece here and I'm kind of making it look curly. Uh, so it adds like a nice look to this piece. That way it's not, it's not just the message. And then later we just remove the excess of um, the glue because it's kind of hard to control how much glue is going to come out from the glue, the, the glue gun. So now this is how this piece is going to look like once we pull it up and down. And then later I'm just going to add a narrow sign just to um, let um, people know okay so once you see these balloons you have to pull them up <laughs> like this. Then I'm just cutting, making sure it's going up and down uh, without any problems. And also make sure the balloons are not gonna be above the, the sides of the car. So now I'm using vinyl for the kind of um, design, camera design that goes up front because this is kind of like pictures related this card so uh, this is gonna give me a reference uh, to place the other pieces because I'm trying to create like a um, 3d effect um, using a couple layers for these little pieces that you see I did this before because I had to wait for them to dry once they were together um, so the front of the car is gonna say, say cheese, <laughs> like we usually say when people take pictures about us. Um, and 
uh, with the vinyl we want to make sure that the letters and anything else is gonna stay the way it should be so now I have these little pieces I print like I cut like three or four pieces and then I glue them together and then I'm adding the center with different colors so it's not gonna be just purple I'm just gonna have that type that those layers added um, and also I did the same with the word cheese So these little pieces that I'm gluing right now also come with the, the circles that I glue a little bit before um, and now I'm gonna um, check the, the, the word cheese, kind of see where to glue the letters so they will look and, and will be exactly in the middle. And these letters also have a deep several layers glued together so the letters have some dimension and at the end I will add a uh, novel drops on top I, I mean sorry I meant to say uh, glossy accents <laughs> so they will look shiny because this is just black cardstock by the way the list of all the materials including colors and types are on the description below so you can check uh, all the materials uh, specifically if you want to use the same colors that this car has so because the circles are making my letters uh, with the exception of the C and the last E um, to look a little bit higher than the other ones I'm just gonna glue another layer um, for the letter C and the last E so they will look more even okay so now I'm gonna Add the second paragraph or message for my card that says get ready to the party and this one also has a combination of colors between purple and red just to kind of give give it uh, a more interesting look all you need to do is to put one uh, piece of vinyl on top of the other one with a little bit of separation so you can see both colors at the same time. And now I'm just gluing the word party that has a little party, a small party hat. And then you have a small section below the word party so if you can, if you want to write something now this is how my car is looking it's looking nice but there is still a couple more things to do I always um, like to add more details once the car is getting close to be done so now let's create the envelope for the envelope I decided to add an image of a camera because it's also picture related and I always think that it's nice to decorate also the envelopes because they kind of give the person idea of what is coming you know and it's nice to receive something different comparing to um, the most common envelopes that cards uh, have so um, I'm adding a little flower that is gonna be on top of the, the envelope and I'm also adding the word, kind of saying, hey, you have to open the envelope this, uh, going to this side of the envelope. Uh, and I'm also going to paint the camera so it looks nicer instead of being a plain color. Uh, the brand of this um, 
uh, glitter pants. It's hard to see it um, as I show it a little bit ago, but it's, it's called OOLY 1.0. Um, and the nice thing about these glitter pens is that it looks so shiny once you finish the painting part. Um, and also I'm gonna use markers so now you can see the result. Um, I did it out of the camera so um, because it takes a little while. <laughs> but as you can see now my camera looks so pretty. <laughs> it looks shiny. It's hard to see it um, on the video but I can guarantee you that it looks uh, very shiny. Now I'm just gonna glue the back of the, the envelope. And this is how the card is gonna the, the envelope is gonna look like. And now here is the section that says Psst. <laughs> Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> this kind of kind of to say, hey, you have to go here to open this envelope. And here's how the card is gonna be. So now I'm just kind of bending the the beginning of the flower so it will have some dimension. I always try to add something that is gonna have dimension to make our uh, my designs much better. Mm -hmm. Then just adding a little bit of uh, color also to make it shiny. Now let's start final details. So what I did is I just add a couple more flowers. Uh, I'm cutting the um, the white sections for the balloons, and um, I'm also working with the flowers that you see here. They are also um, available to make them pop up. Uh, so I'm I'm doing the same thing that I did with the flower for the envelope. So this, that way they also have that, that pop-up effect. Um, and you will see that it looks very nice uh, once this part is done. Also, um, that this helps so you can see the color below, which is the one I created at the beginning of this video. Um, because the whole idea is to show different colors so you can see a nice design with these flowers. I use this same design of flowers for a thank you card before. Uh, you can check all my videos. It's one of my first videos. Um, and I also did pretty much the same uh, with the flowers. So I put the colors below to make a difference between one flower uh, with the other one. Now this is how they look like. So now I'm just kind of filling the spaces that where I may have missed the vinyl. <laughs> um, just possible, but once you fill those spaces with the same color, you won't notice that difference. Um, that also adds a little bit of shine uh, because I'm using again my glitter pens. And this is how my flowers look like now that I decorate them and the car in general. So it looks pretty. 